Coco, I guess, with the your injured guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Richie didn't skate today. He's getting some extra treatments. And uh, Burmistrop did skate today, first time in a long time, but he's still a ways away. This was his first time. So yeah. do you just kind of have to read and react how he feels coming off of yeah. sessions like this? And yeah. He's, I think it was more just getting on the ice, getting skates back on. Yeah. I don't think he's close, though. So. Okay. With, uh, with uh, Richardson, is there any more clarity on, on him, how he's trending? No, just keeps working away at it. Okay. Yeah. Still a possibility, though. As long as there's games so, left, I yeah. guess. <laughs> I've had fans ask me if you've ruled him out for this season. No, not ruled him out yet, but he's going to have to continue to make some progress. So. But he's hoping to play some games before the end of the year, which is would be good for all of us. I would think so, right, Dave? The value of not having the whole summer of wondering what it's going to feel like. Exactly, but we're not going to put him in a bad position either. It's, I mean, that was a real severe injury, and he's got to be fully healed and, and fully capable of playing before we're going to throw him in that situation. Mike said in Boston last week he felt like he was in a funk, but it certainly looks like he's found his way out of that, would you say, these last few starts? Yeah, he's been better. You know, he's been solid. He's, you know, he's given us a chance. If you goaltender, you just get in there. You got to give us a chance, and that's what he's done. Yeah. The goals last night were, uh, you know, the overtime goal is a 2 on 0 breakaway. The other one is just a bad break off mm -hmm. a skate, and that's, you know, those things happen sometimes. Why do you think it's important for him to finish? strong and go into the summer feeling encouraged how important is that for him and it can lead to feeling good coming into next year right sets you up everybody has to and he's had a good year you know he's he's you know had a couple stretches where you know he would like to be a little bit better but that happens with every goaltender right so he's he's been solid this year he wants to finish the year off right and then we'll worry about next year next year Dave Timu Polkinen, might we see him tomorrow, or does he need more time to get back up to NHL speed? Uh, right now, he's kind of the extra guy for us. Uh, to put him in, we'd have to take somebody out, and I, I don't see that happening. What's your read, Dave, on Oliver and how this season's been going for him? Up and down a little bit. Yeah. You know, he's had some off games, and it's kind of the way the year's gone for him. Why, is there some underlying catalyst, do you think, to that, the sporadic nature? Because he's always just kind of been that steady, that rock. And yeah. What do you? How, how do you analyze it? I guess. Oh. Uh, I think there's lots, lots of things going on. With them that it's just sometimes you have an off year. How do you rebound from that? How do you not fine. not go that? He'll, he'll be fine. He'll, what gives you that confidence? I guess. I know, Oliver. I think he'll be fine. He's cares about what he's doing just there's been you know he's had a couple minor injuries this year just the year hasn't gone how he's like it to but I have every confidence that he'll rebound and continue to be a real good player sets the tone right I mean especially for that back end if he's going one direction it usually you know it's how the team can go when he's playing 25 minutes plus a game that's a big chunk of the game so he has a big impact on the game is that workload, do you think that's right where it should be for him? Is it too much sometimes? Is it, or you think he can handle it? up and down a little bit, I mean, depending on, on the game, depending on special teams, you know, it mm -hmm. can go up and down a little bit, so. Yeah. Dave, since Marty Hansel's left, what are you seeing in the face-off circles, and particularly from Christian Dvorak? Do you see him making progress on a game-to-game -game basis? Yeah, last game is the first game since Hansel's been down where he's been under 50%, but there's, you know, there's still a learning curve for him. There's uh, the big one last night was some face-offs on the power play. We could have, you know, you get a five-on-three that for 23 seconds that face-off becomes really important. So there's some ones like that that he's lost. But for the most part, he's really his his percentages have gone up all the way through the year. That'll continue to go as he uh, as he gets more experience. Is it fair to label him as the heir apparent, I guess, to Marty Hansel in the face-off circles moving forward, or is that too strong? He's he's his own player. He's going to be a good young player and uh, continues to improve, but to compare him against anybody else right now is not right. Just let him continue to grow in his own, in his own way.